Hello, it's Kin and Kinza, and today we are going to be learning how to use the Clip at Layer Below setting in Clip Paint Studio. So the first thing we're going to do is get your base colors down to whatever you're going to do. You can color a picture you already have or color some line art. I'm going to be using line art of a character named Barry. He is my plant monster creature mascot. So, let's get started. I've got my line art on top, right above my base color here. I've used bright pink on my base layer so I can see all the areas that I've messed up on, gone outside the lines, and I can just fix that real quick. So I'm going to do a couple touch-up things here, and I'm happy with it. Now you're going to take and make a new roster layer, put it above your base color, and then while you're still in the settings for your layers, go up. You're going to see a lock layer. Looks like a little padlock. Move over. Next to that is set as reference layer. And then go over one more to clip at layer below. Select that one. And now you're going to have a little pink line pop up next to your layer. That pink line can be different depending on your settings, but it's pink for me. Once that's selected, whatever is below that layer is going to be clipped. You can rename this layer whatever you want. I'm just going to label it new color. So we have our new color that we're ready to throw on our base color. Um, we're going to go with green. Love green. So pick whatever tool you use to color with and just go crazy. And as you can see it's not going to go outside whatever your base color was. It's a great method of coloring in the lines. The only problem is first you have to lay down the color that you want to color in. Also, another fun trick when using the clip at layer below is you're not limited to just having to use a brush. You can also use gradients. Um, I'm going to use the rainbow one because why not? Berry can be beautiful. And you could lay whatever gradient you want down, and as long as it's clipped, it's not going to go outside of whatever base color. Now, if you click your clip layer and unclip it, it's going to be a mess. So clip it, and you're completely fine. You can also apply this method to your line art. So we're just going to take our... No, we'll, we'll do it again. You can either take your clipped layer and move it up above your lines and it will affect your lines but we're just going to leave it on top of Barry's base color. Now take your line art layer, make a new roster layer above it, clip it and throw another gradient on there if you want. Um, since Barry's normally green I'm going to make him green even though it doesn't make a whole lot of sense when he's rainbow but there you go. Um, a lot of people also use this method when they're shading. So you take your darker color of your base color and your lighter color and just throw it on there. It doesn't really work if you don't have this clicked. So make sure you always have it clicked and you should be all set. Um, if you have any questions, suggestions, concerns, or anything that you want to tell me, just please leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps.